Hi, um, in the last tutorial, uh, we used the very simple um, Mongo database authentication, meaning we created an auto database and then we used the auto details collection to, uh, and then the username password is stored in that auto detail collection, which is the password is very plain text. Um, in this tutorial, we Going to use a little bit different uh, to make sure the password and username which is created the authentication provided by mongo so mongo itself has that uh, um, user creations and they store a password very secure password store it securely um, so we thought of use the same uh, what mongodb is providing we use the same as well as we're going to use um, MongoDB for storing the user details. So the username and password will be in the uh, Mongo authentication username password, like Mongo user, MongoDB user name password. And then for that username, we will be storing the user details such as user ID and few other details, whatever we needed for the user details. Um, let's go ahead. Uh, for that, I'm going to create um, the MongoDB. Um, we're going to create uh, a new database called. Uh, so we we're not going to use the order here. Uh, we're going to use the new database. Use uh, the database called order auth, or we can say uh, cart auth. Okay, so all the correlated authentication happens using this authentication at the database, at MongoDB database. Okay, so it's DB is created, and then we're gonna create a user, DB dot create user. Um, so this is the functionality provided by Mongo to create a user, very secure username password. And there are many different ways to create a user uh, with the proper security, but this is the one of the simplest way you can create a user. Okay, user here, I'm gonna pass user as um, admin. I think that's the username we're using already. Okay, admin, and then password is pwd. This is the structure we're supposed to use. Here we say pass. So since we have we switched to Kartok the database, the user will be created under Kartok. So you enter. I'm um, sorry, there is one thing I missed. So when you create a user, you also need to specify a role, or you can say roles, um, no roles in it. So you can specify roles or you just specify empty for now. Oh, sorry, db dot user. Okay, so now the user is created um, successfully. Um, now if you want to see how the user is created, show Uh, users so that will show uh, the list of users created for this um, database so they say db is cart auth and the user is admin and then the mechanism they use the sha1 and 250 this is the mechanism they're using behind the scene to create a user for that database so now the user is created um, i'm going to create a collection in the same database db uh, collection we're going to call user details and inside the user we're going to insert here we're going to say username is admin And we can say some other property what we have here. Um, we have user ID and role, and we don't need the password for this because we 
we're keeping the password in the MongoDB uh, user user database user user DB. Um, so we don't need the password here. We just need the, all the user details. Um, so here we're going to say user details, user ID. as something some id okay so it's creators i'm going to create one more admin one okay there are two users creator okay okay so first thing um i'm going to copy paste this similar and here we're going to create change this method to get valid db user okay and then here we're going to specify a variable mongo url equal to we'll be copy the same um concept except um we will be passing username password with the url Okay, so we call the new Mongo URL. Okay. So instead of um, calling local host, here we're going to send the username and password with that. So first is the user name colon. password and you need to pass at symbol here like this so this will validate by username password to validate that particular um, so i need to call send the database name which is called cart up okay so now it's validated against this cart up has username password this username and with the password is exist or not if it is exist it'll work otherwise it'll fail okay after this i'm going to call the mongo client equal to new mongo client and then the post the mongo url variable and get the database equal to mongo client dot get database of cart of okay after this um we'll be getting collection the user detail collection equal to um you know the same way mongo database dot get collection use the details okay once this done we're going to take this user detail collection instead of the other one and here we don't need password anymore because we are validating username password against the cart up mongodb authentication once that authenticated uh, we're gonna get the get user details by the same username inside the database okay looks good uh, think correct and then copy this put in the interface after that auth control instead of this we're going to call get the valid db user okay let's do one check here all right so let's run while it's running let's get postman ready okay sent Okay. 
to unvalidate user. Okay, let's just go through it. Looks like it's got successful. Okay, it's working. So what if I send the wrong, uh, one more, the other user, user which I created, which is admin, just verify it. So I created, uh, um, looks like I created only one user authentication, but the user you detail collection has two different rows. One is with admin, one is with admin one. So I'm going to send admin one in here. We know that we haven't created a user to authenticate against. Let's see what happens. Okay. So we have got the error says unable to authenticate using this protocol mechanism so one. It's failed. So let's go ahead and create um, new create a user with the admin one. DB dot admin one. So now the user is added. Let's run this again. Now it's working. Uh, that's all. So uh, this is helpful when you create a very really you you, you want the JWT authentication and the MongoDB also has authentication. It's very difficult to hack anybody your database. So now we have a very tight authentication using MongoDB authentication, uh, JWT with um, private and public key authentication. Okay. Thanks for watching. Um, hope, I hope this is helpful for you. Thank you. Bye.